Look at this frightening video. This was taken in Des Moines late Saturday night. A woman stuck inside her car with her two kids when she finally decides to get out and try to make a run for it. You can see the water looks like a rushing river around her legs. So what do you do if you find yourself in a dangerous situation like that? Is it better to stay in the car or make a run for it? Local 5's Bryn Carmen is live at the intersection of 13th and Jefferson Avenue where that video was taken. It's hard to believe this is the same street where that video was taken 48 hours later and this place is looking dramatically different. Now the woman who took that video says the water was several feet deep and she had no choice. She had to grab her kids and try and escape. But is that the right decision? The West Des Moines Fire Marshal talks about if it's safer to stay in your vehicle or make a run for higher ground. This neighborhood street in Des Moines completely transformed during Saturday's historic floods. A fast-moving river. The viewer who captured this video had to make a quick decision when she was caught right in the middle of it. Hold on to the fence. She and her kids were stuck in a stalled car, but thought the safer option was to get out and make a run for it. West Des Moines Fire Marshal Mike Whitsell says there's a lot of gray area when it comes to deciding what to do. That's what I'm going to tell them, is do what you have to do. And it's easy for me to say don't panic. You're going to panic. I'm going to panic. You're going to panic. But you have to take that deep breath and say, what can I do to get out of this situation? West Des Moines emergency crews rescued about 30 people stranded in their cars. If you think of two feet, you know, you're about this high off the, the ground. Well, now you open up that door, which is at the same level. So are you even going to be able to open the door? That's going to be the problem. Again, that water has a lot of force behind it. At six inches of water off the ground, it can take your feet out from underneath you. A different neighbor on the same street also got video of the impressive downpour. And it started going this way. We had a little bit over here, but it, it basically bypassed my entire yard and then started coming down. Leon was home and made the right call not to leave that night. That's one of the reasons why you don't go into high water. You can't see manholes. If they get pushed up from water pressure, your car's going to get stuck in a manhole. Even after the rain stopped and some of the water had receded, the conditions were still extremely dangerous when he walked in his front yard. You could barely stand on it and it was just two inches of water. Firefighters say in an emergency situation like this, you have to make a quick decision depending on where you are and what's around you. We're live in Des Moines tonight. Bryn Carmen, Local 5 News. We are Iowa. Bryn, thanks so much. And as the fire marshal mentioned there, it's a quick decision based on what you are seeing at the time. But he says most of the time it is better to get out of the car and try to move to higher ground.